Hi, light beams. I hope this finds you well. I was called to discuss a little bit about what's happening as we are embarking upon and actually already entering into these energies of this full moon. So the full moon is well in its way. It will be here on June the 17th, which is tomorrow. And it's arriving on the uh, Pacific Coast, it's arriving at 1.31 a.m. And for those of you who know me well, you know that ones and threes are my numbers. And in fact, 1.31 is actually my birthday. So I'm pretty charged about this full moon as I'm hoping all of you are as well because it is a super duper 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 charged high moon or full moon and high energy frequency and what's happening is that this full moon which is in 26 degrees of Sagittarius is also positioned right in the center um, in the galactic center so this is an amplification in ways that are beyond profound. And even before I started researching and figuring out what the astrology behind it was and really feeling in my beings, uh, my light beings, my guides kept saying it is an illumination portal. And I know we've been through many of these portals over the over the times of our ascension, um, and this, like many of them, is next level, um, but it's a profound one, and I've been really feeling the potency of it as it's coming, and I would imagine you are too, in some really amazing highways and some really um, opportunistic, contrasting ways, I would say. Um, so be where you are, but it really, I find it to be really helpful to know what's happening kind of from a larger perspective and so you can plug yourself into that. So this uh, galactic center, this full moon activation, if you will, as I'm seeing it is really opening us up this whole week actually leading into the solstice. The summer solstice is on um, Friday. I forget what time it is. It's in the morning, 8.45, 8.49 a.m. Pacific time, something like that. Um, but this window, this five-day window is profound as we begin to activate greater and greater and greater and greater light, which really, um, I almost want to say it kind of has its full crescendo, if you will, on the summer solstice on Friday, which is the longest light day of the year. But... The indicators that I'm getting is that it doesn't actually have a full crescendo. It just keeps going, which then takes us into um, eclipse season. Our first eclipse is on um, the first new moon. It's a solar eclipse on the first new moon, which I believe is July 2nd. And so we're just, here we go. We're just going to keep going. Um, it is a hugely activating time, a hugely illuminating time. Um, it's really about soul destiny. It's really about what is the truth of your purpose. And if you've been in the deep exploration, a lot has surfaced and come up over the period of the last even two weeks since my last um, energy report of just getting clear about where the limitations are is how I'll call them forth. Um, where the blockages, although I'm not really resonating with that word blockage so much anymore, um, more of where the limitations, where the belief systems are, perhaps where the practices of limiting ourselves or um, the relationships around us that have been limiting or harnessing us, not in our greatest, but in our contrast. Those have really come to the surface on a variety of levels. And if you're anything like me, uh, which we all are one, so I'm certain you're having similar experiences, um, it's almost a sensation of like wanting to burst out of my skin. Like this rebirth, this coming in, this transformation into newness literally is almost feeling like like the expansion of light is so big, I kind of just want to leap out of my skin. And the call, if you will, the call for who you are at your highest level, what you're meant to 
be, to do, how you're meant to express. Um, it's just, it's like palpable. It's, it's the, um, the inner wisdom of it is so palpable right now. And so it is time to amp up your game, no matter what it is you're doing or what it is you're experiencing. And if you're not in your fullest expression, whatever that might be, whatever brings you the greatest joy, whatever you're, you perceive your purpose to be, whatever, however you're serving, if you're not in the fullest expression of that right now, I would imagine it's really uncomfortable. And there's an amping up, if you will, that's happening to like point you or course correct. That's the word I want. Course correct you into the direction so that you can get serving. Like, let's get going. No more excuses. No more after this than I will. No more if only I had this. If only I had the time. I had the resources. I had the support. I had all of those things that from the third dimension... Um, we're used to holding and attaching ourselves to because we're so familiarized with the separation of the 3D. All of those things get to be honored as they are and then dismissed. You know, what if all the support, all the resources, all the time, all the inspiration, what if it was all alive within you right now? And you acted as if it was. You moved as if it was. Because it is. It is an illusion that there is separation from who you are and who you're or how you're about or how you're destined to serve. It's all right here. It's right here right now. And so instead of the limitations or um, I'm, I'm asking of myself to really um, rise above the denial of the truth of who I am and what I know how I know I was put here to serve. And so it's really to turn the volume up and allowing that to be um, exciting as opposed to oppressive is your choice. You're a free will agent, but I would say choose it in a manner that brings you greater joy. So it's about the winds of transformation. It's about the winds of change. It's kind of like this portal is the big wide door opener. It's opening a door to your fullest potential, your fullest potency. And um, it's really why you were brought here. What, what were you brought here to do? So June being a nine month in numerology, it is a number of completion. Nines are completion numbers, they're finales. It's the um, let go, it's the release. Also, you can welcome the new. And in that, um, I've been really advised by my higher guidance to do less clearing, less looking at blocks, less focusing upon the limitation and more focusing upon the expansion. So what you get to do as the uh, in the letting go era is you can turn the gaze not to the thing that has been blocking you, let's say time or resources, right? Um, you can focus upon the not having of those things or the old story or the way it's been proven to you over the days, weeks, months, years, decades of your existence. Or you can begin to shift the gaze to the thing that you want, to the experience that you want. And what I've been watching is that the vibration of the thing that you want, aligning with that vibration, elevating your vibration to that frequency, begins to allow that which is not congruent will just naturally begin to fall away. So it's less about clearing. Um, there is an opportunity to become conscious of the things that are presenting themselves as limitations and then rising to the thing that you desire instead. And in the rising to, the limitation will not be able to be held within the frequency of who you're becoming. And I would say that the biggest most exciting thing that's happening with this new or with this full moon in its in its full capacity is the vision and then the capacity to reorganize your vibrational sequence and frequency like that like that is who we are becoming we are becoming new humans and we are closer to the fullness of our new humanness if you will with the activation of this window of this illumination portal we are closer than we've ever been before so my dear ones the time is now it's it's now it's it's the time to focus on the larger more expansive dreams like what dream may you become 
oh, without limitation just focusing upon that and really setting huge intentions and then activating it with the light frequencies holding what if this entire five-day spectrum what if you were so willing to be activated in the fullness of your consciousness that you did not speak better yet think into any of the limitations what if as an experiment for five days you only you were so conscious and so present that you made a decision to only focus on the thing that you're willing to have or the experiences you're willing to have what if we collectively spent these new this next five days razor sharp focus on correcting or enhancing our vibrational frequency through our thoughts, through our expressions, and through our vibration to the having of what dreams might are, are coming. Deal? So with that being said, um, it's really this day um, to be optimistic and move into the higher vibrations and um, maybe really sit within the moon, within the spectrum of the moon and um, take in the rays of the light. So the light of the moon, the light of the fullness of the sun in the summer solstice, really being in the full activation of your light frequency. It's all available to you right now. And I'm really called to gather. I'm uh, gathering. Um, I want to gather with the, the women. Um, and the, the feeling of gathering and of setting collective intentions is really in the field right now too. So, so call your people um, and be intentional and mindful about the creation that you are becoming. So I pulled some cards from my favorite, well, my favorite new deck. I just got this. It just came in the mail two days ago. So it's my favorite because it's new, but I don't know it yet all the way. Um, it's Alana Fairchild's Lightworker Oracle. And I drew three cards just to kind of have an idea of where we are. The first one I drew was Orbs of Light. It's number 440. And Orbs of Light. Um, my intention and question with this is um, what do we need to know right now? And I think this pretty much says it all. We are in full light activation. This is being honored by the sun and the moon. And when you are in the full ownership, do you see the receiving? She's both simultaneously receiving the light and illuminating the light. It's shining strongest at her heart center. This is an activation of the pure potency of your love light, of your higher heart, of your higher self. This isn't a game of your mind. This is a game of your being. And everything is available for the full orbs or the for the orbs of full light um receiving is the word that's coming right now full light receiving so you might be in the f in full light offering yeah and then i asked um kind of where have we been and and what are we releasing and the card that came was karmic clearing and what I find interesting about this, so it is about releasing the past, it's about releasing those limiting um, beliefs, and as I said earlier, really about raising your vibration above them so they naturally fall away. What I find interesting about this karmic card is my guidance that's been coming in is that as we are becoming these new humans, and as we are elevating, and as we are landing in fifth dimensional consciousness and awareness, or um, you know, finding our way there, uh, walking through the door. That's what's happening right now. We're walking through the next door. Um, I really believe that karma is held so deeply within the 3D that I, I believe that our purpose as humans for a long time was to fulfill, to fulfill karmic debts to come here and to learn, to grow, to fulfill the karmas. And in so doing, we would create new karma. And on and on and on we went with this journey over the lifetimes and over the millenniums, millenniums of, of existence. Um, I don't believe that that's the purpose of humanity anymore. I believe in this karmic clearing. It's number five. In this karmic clearing, um, it's almost like a final karmic clearing from my perspective. Because when we're in the fullness of the 5D, 
we're not here to play with karma. We're here to be pure light essence. We're here to be in the pure potency of love that is unconditional. Um, karma gets created by being unconscious. And when we're in the fullness of our consciousness, there's no need to um, pay dues or learn lessons. We are in the fullness of our being. That's who we are becoming. And then I asked, what do we need to know for moving forward? And this card was, it's the number 12, which is also a three, and it's eternal now. Um, and what that speaks to me is we are learning that our power and our potency is in the intention of the now. It is not in the past, what has happened. It is not in the future, what will happen. It is in the pure presence and potency of the now. So even playing with, uh, with aligning vibrationally for creating the, the potent present way of summoning is to say, I am now in the experience of whatever it is. I am now in the fullest expression, I am now in the fullest expression of being at my highest level of service. And so it is. There's a proclamation, a, a claiming, a proclaiming of what it is in the now you are willing to experience. And that conviction, that acceleration, that ascension vibrationally into the, into the now of the having of the thing, that's how we create. We are becoming master creators. It is our birthright to be in the potency and the truth of our mastery of creation. We just forgot. We are remembering who we are as infinite beings. We shall suffer no more, but at our own hands or in our own demise, we do not need to suffer anymore. We are active, very rapidly becoming fully immersed light beings. And it is all yours for the proclaiming of. Through your love, through your light, and through your vibrational sequence, this is us becoming fifth dimensional, highly evolved, conscious merrymakers. Enjoy your time, dear ones. We'll meet again soon.